So it's going to get dismissed. It essentially will be ruled that they can't hear the case because of standing. Well, that well that was simple, certainly. Uh, you know, it, it's interesting that that you mentioned obviously that the lawyers that are that have that originally sued to overturn Prop 8 back in 2009, Ted Olson and David Boyes. Mm-hmm. What a story that is! Huge. Ted Ted Olson was uh, uh, George W. Bush's Solicitor General, and he's. And he was at uh, opposite ends with David Boyes. David Boyes was Al Gore's yes, lawyer the in the famous, recount in Florida, and Ted Olson was George Bush's lawyer. The famous Bush v. Gore, where the Supreme Court anointed uh, a president of the United States who did not win the popular vote, nor the electoral college after all the votes were counted down in Florida. Uh, but they are on the same side of this. And fighting vigorously, I have to say that Ted Olson, who did the oral argument in front of the Supreme Court, uh, he's very comfortable there. Uh, he's argued enough times that he and uh, Justice Scalia really got into it back and forth. And usually, I, I haven't mentioned this on other shows, but usually a, 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 an attorney will, once a, a Supreme Court justice starts speaking, they'll stop. Not Ted Olson. They just talked over one another where they disagreed. Uh, a very vigorous debate. Uh, and uh, he did a great job. Not that anyone's surprised with that. Now, let, let, let's talk a little bit about the, the Defense of Marriage Act briefly sure. while we just have a moment. Sure. And that is, um, yeah. it, uh, it, it, how is that looking? It's, and and, and where, where do the justices appear to be standing right. on that's that a, that's a, it, Like I said, it's, it's dealing with the same group of people's rights, but a different right. This is the federal right. Uh, in terms of each state defines marriage, and the federal government tried to define it for the terms, in terms of federal benefits. And it looks like the Supreme Court's going to say the federal government has no right to define what a marriage is. That is left to the states. So each state will define marriage, and then federal benefits will attach based upon that, if that makes sense. I know that was a little quick, but essentially what, what we're saying is is that you know the, the police power of a state, they issue licenses, they define what it is. DOMA tried to reverse that in certain states that it passed same-sex marriage. And it looks like the court's going to say that's a that's a federalism issue. Uh, we federal government can't do that. Well, uh, Shane, and of course, one of the issues that that Justice Anthony Kennedy, obviously the swing justice in that court, brought up is that there are already forty thousand children in the entire country who are the children of uh, gay couples, and this is an important issue for them. And you know, I'll just say that this looks like the advance of freedom to me, and it, does. it is it is very fitting i think that uh, that this will come down to an issue of of states rights and freedom and sort of these traditionally conservative american values um and we'll, we'll see this advance state by state of course mm-hmm. and and that's that's going to be a very moving thing to see of course the issue of federal benefits is is very very important and spouses mm-hmm. benefits for social security visitation rights all kinds of other federal benefits We'll be watching that case closely. And Shane, we're going to be reading your stuff. Shane Farnan, the Supreme Court correspondent for Talk Radio News Service. Thank you so much, Shane. You we, are very welcome. We really appreciate you Thanks coming on and me. talking with us. All right. And uh, we, we're going to talk a little bit more about how this issue is playing out in the public square and Dr. Ben Carson, a Hopkins surgeon, and how his remarks were received at the university where he works after this on Take Action News.